Thank you for joining me. It's another craft night with friends. I am on location again here at my parents' house. Um, and tonight we are stitching the autumn sparkle embroidery. We got uh, two leaves done, the outside of the leaves done yesterday. Um, tonight I think we'll stitch up um, some of these stem lines and get some of these little acorn fellers started as well. So, all right, thanks again for joining me. I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, all right, you guys, let's get going. So I'm gonna just try and get as much as I, done as I can tonight. Here is our pattern. Um, the kits are still available, and I'll be shipping them all out tomorrow when I get back home. So tomorrow I will be back on Facebook as well. Um, but all right, so I think I'm gonna start um, doing this brown line, I got the uh, teddy bear color out here. Start here, stitch down it there, get the little bit of a stem, and then I think I'm going to come back up here, and then we'll get this acorn, and then try and get some of these other little bits as well. We still have this big leaf to do yet, but we'll get there. So anyway, let's get going. Hope everyone had a lovely Tuesday. I gotta do some errands and it was just nice to be outside. It was just beautiful outside all day today. All right, getting my 18 inches of floss here. Okay, so my favorite way of separating floss, again, I'm, I have six strands of embroidery floss in, in um, you know, your normal six strand embroidery floss. That's the typical embroidery floss. I wanna stitch with three to make my lines a little bit thinner. Three's pretty normal. I think two is a normal number that people stitch with. Uh, but this floss is made to split into smaller smaller amounts. Um, so typically when you have six strand embroidery floss, you will split it. So I'm just taking one strand at a time and just like isolating it and then pulling, pulling the floss um, completely out and then it kind of, um, releases all nice and then I gotta put the three strands back together just kind of roughly matching up those end ends and just running my hand through so that's ready to go all right grab my needle let's thread this up so I'm doing that pinch method again where I pinch and then as I unpinch stick in the needle the eye of the needle right on top there and pushing through. I don't have to lick it or anything like that. All right, so I think I have, my path is starting here. I'll come down to here and then back up around, I think, tonight. All right, so I'm gonna weave in the end and I think that'll be a good start. So I like weaving in the ends back and forth three times or so. Right to man, you guys, we had another fabulous, fabulous dinner here. It's always fun coming, <laughs> coming to mom and dad's. They always have uh, delicious meals. We actually, um, John actually made dinner tonight. He made like this amazing curry, which um, basically whenever we visit my parents, it's like ah. Oh, crap, what do we have in the fridge? Our fridge that's gonna go bad at when we're gone. <laughs> so we brought all these vegetables over and squash and that sort of thing. And uh, we cut it all up tonight and uh, turned it into like a super yummy curry. And there was carrots from my parents' garden that we picked out of the garden yesterday. And I think some squash from John's mom's garden and Man, it was just another fresh, amazing, delicious dinner. Uh, it's nice. That's, that's, it's just so delicious and yummy. <laughs> ah, and today uh, um, is basically field trip day, which basically is my mom and me going to pick up her car that was at the shop. <laughs> but on the way home, we went to like this caramel, caramel corn factory that was in town and, and got caramel corn and dang okay so you know that normal mix of caramel corn that's um you know you got your white popcorn and then your caramel corn and then your your cheese 
corn, you know, that mix that, that people get. Uh, they obviously had that. That's like, you know, a main thing, I'm sure. But they have all different flavors of, of popcorn there. And one of them was all of those together. So it was, I think it was called like cheese, um, cheese caramel corn. So it was basically the caramel corn and then they put that cheese stuff on top of it. <laughs> I hate it. I ate a thing of that, that today and it was so delicious. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> Highlight. Eating all the yummy stuff. Oh, uh, when visiting my parents. <laughs> All right. Anyway, you guys, that was my day. We are uh, stitching this little um, vein of this oak leaf here. And I'm just doing the back stitch. One of my favorite stitches. This is actually loaded with um, some of my favorite stitches. I really do like the chain stitch. That's what we did yesterday. Uh, a couple ways to do the chain stitch. And then we did a reverse chain stitch, um, which is just another way to do a chain stitch, basically. And um, today, starting off with the back stitch. I do want to get some of these little acorns done today too. Um, someone, someone did that. Oh, Sylvie is asking if I'm still on the stationary bike. Okay, so I was not for like two months, maybe not that long. Um, I was really consistent with the stationary bike for for a good while. And then I got doing like some other exercise. Like it, it was a good like transition into like more workouts again. And then that all kind of went away. We were doing a ton of traveling and uh, I don't know. It just, when I'm off of my routine, that just kind of dies. But I did do it last week. Um, you know, now we're traveling again, but I did do it last week twice. <laughs> and the thing that got me doing it again was like, I was just like, man, how am I going to, get on that bike because usually I used to just kind of read my book and have a cup of coffee. And then, uh, after doing that for a little bit, I was able to like get enough, drum up enough energy to like go over the bike and do that. But I wasn't having that much time in the morning and I was just like, Oh man. So what got me doing it again, riding the bike was that I'm drinking my coffee while I ride the bike and I read my book on the bike. So it's ridiculous, right? So the whole idea is that I'm barely riding the bike at the start. I'm just waking up. Oh, I want to get a couple of stitches here. There's a few, I think there's just two stitches of, of this um, tan or of this teddy bear color. I want to get those while I'm over here. Uh, but yeah, so I just sip my coffee, sort of casually ride the bike and read my book. And by the end of like the 20 minutes or half hour or so that I, that I ride the bike, but then I'm, you know, then I'm more doing it exercisingly, but like just having that coffee was enough to get me on that, on the bike again. So the fact that I could sip my coffee and ride the bike <laughs> was was the winning combo so far. So I'm, I'm hoping to do more of that, doing my coffee bike rides. And then soon, hopefully it'll be just back to normal again. I'll do my bike riding and then do like weights and that sort of thing. But man, I don't know, I get off the whole system and it all just does not work well. All right, so this has like two sides, like it's getting to be like a bigger stem here. So I think I'll just start on one side and we'll just see how far we get. And we'll have to get a new a new thread started soon. But maybe I'll, um, yeah, yeah, I think I will do another thread because I can stitch up to here. Hmm. Or maybe I start here. Well, I don't know, let's see how far we get with, with this first. I'm just trying to navigate. Um, all these little stems are this, this color down here. I do miss riding the bike though. Um, I miss the routine of that. So hopefully, hopefully get cracking on that again. All right, I'm kind of tempted to do this little bit up here. I think I'm gonna. So this is all the same color. Just because it's kind of away from other parts here. Get done now.
Maybe this is silly because now I'm gonna be like stuck there with the ability to do more stitches. And yeah, I think I'm gonna actually jump back down here. We'll do this little um, stitch here. So I, I do have this whole bit to go, so I think I might come down here and then I can go back up to this this point. And maybe that's how I start the next the next floss. I like to try and map it out before I stitch, but sometimes it doesn't work out all that great. Sometimes it gets a little floopy. My map doesn't pan out without some backtracking. Gotta hang out with Chad again. Oh, and we went to an apple orchard. Man, we got all like some fall stuff in here uh, today. So I got some apples to bring home which is great, I'm out of those. All that fun fall stuff. Okay. And now I think it's supposed to get cold again. <laughs> cold and rainy. So we got like the two best days of fall. We gotta be at my parents' house where fall is amazing. But yeah, so tomorrow I'll be back um, back at home and um, so I'll also be it'll be I'll be back normal tomorrow so I'll, I'll be on Facebook and all that tomorrow too again I know it's easier to chat and stuff on on Facebook for sure all right I'm almost out of floss hopefully I can get back to where it kind of connects up here again that'd be great Yeah, then I think I'll stick with that second piece of um, that teddy bear color, the one that I'm working now. I'll start, oh, I can't really start here. I don't have any stitches to weave into. Well, then maybe I'll, maybe I'll actually start here. I'll do this little bit, I forgot about that. Maybe come down and get this, or maybe I'll do that now. Eh, I don't think I have, yeah, I might have enough floss for that. It just kind of jumbles up at the bottom here. So I think I'll do this little sprig that's coming off. Then I'll come back do here. Then I can jump jump down and do like the three more stitches or so here. Then I'll get these couple stitches and then I can come back up that way. And, and hopefully there's enough floss for that. We will see, but I think that's my new my new map. for the least amount of jumping around and using as much floss as we can. All right. Oh, I suppose there's some little brown dots in here though. Ugh, all right, let's jump down and get those. Um, Three here. Oh man, I don't know if I'll have enough thread to get back up there. This was maybe silly, but oh well, let's do it. One, two. So I, I do have the instructions, the color guide near me, so I can always double check to see what's going on here. This is like a little bit of shading. Uh oh, lost my needle I just pulled. I always do that at about, when I have about this much left, I accidentally keep pulling my needle off. There we go. I can get a few more stitches out of this, I think. Actually, I might just, um, this will be the last stitch and then I'll weave in the end into the stitches that we got there. All right, weave in the ends, uh, back and forth three times to lock in uh, those stitches instead of tying a knot. It is exactly like this outside here right now. All these, all these colorful leaves and pretty autumn. All right, it's coming together. So let's get, um, I have that second piece of thread that we separated earlier so we can get started right away, which is great. Thread that puppy up. Okay, and I'm gonna start right here 
and then like jump up to here, I think. Oh wait, no, I probably have a, a stitch or two to do here. Ugh. Let's see if I can look a little closer there. Yeah, I got one, little one to do there. Ugh, fine. I missed it um, uh, before. All right, let's weave in right here. I do wanna get those acorns yet though. So what we're doing now is just by getting all this brown in these kind of veins of the, the leaves, it gives us, gives me more to weave into the backs. So like what I'm doing now to start my next piece of thread, I'll be able to do that with the acorns more easily with all these stitches here. So that's, that's kind of my thought process there. All right, more back stitch. So I'm going like one stitch up on my line and then going backwards to the beginning of the line. And then go in another stitch forward and then back to my starting um, to that the, the hole right there that starting spot and we'll continue down the line here Gotta hang out with Chad Kitty some more. That's always a good day. I should do a Chad Kitty portrait one of these days, I think. <laughs> That'd be fun. Embroidered portrait. So next week we'll be sewing this into a zipper pouch. Um, I think we just sent some emails out about that, but yeah, so we'll be taking this kit and making like a super simple zipper pouch. So we have some super fun zippers in the shop. I'll be using one of those. Um, you can use whatever zipper, but it's gonna be like the most basic zipper pouch you can do. And I know we've, we've done that before, here but I just think it's so easy and you know with the holidays coming up it's just so easy to just make a whole pile of these zipper pouches um, to hold gifts and all the rest of it um, so it's a good good little um, thing to know know how to do so we'll we'll go over that again and I think we're gonna be doing a, a blog post on it too just to um, so you guys can uh, just look at it again easily all right um, I'm gonna jump back down but it's it's pretty far to jump all the way there so I'm just gonna go behind some of the stitches here there we go now I'm kind of back where I left off here and actually I might jump over and get that like I think there's just one yeah one tiny stitch here and I am you know I am crossing over in the middle of this um acorn here and usually I try not to jump like that but I guess I'm being lazy I'm just getting that one one stitch there and jumping back getting the rest of this stem before hopping over to the other stems all right and I think one more will do it. Actually, I think I have a couple more. Kind of blends into each other here. Yeah, we'll do one more. Boop. And there. So it kind of gets like thick at the bottom. All right. And I think we'll just jump right over here. Do a little forward stitch. Get the rest of this stem and then all we have left of this is this stem here and I don't know if I'll have enough floss Ugh. yeah I don't know if I'll have enough floss for all that that seems like a little much um so I may have to get a new piece of floss which kind of super sucks but whatever I cut it a little too short then but maybe we'll make it we'll see oh wait a sec oh yeah that's part of the leaf I was thinking I had a whole nother line here but that's part of the leaf I already did did the line Connect there. So that leaf, the first time I stitched this, I did all of the leaves, the outside of the leaves first, but um, 
I, I wanted to kind of jump ahead and do some of those acorns. So we're, we're going to get there tonight yet. So after we finish this piece of floss, even if I have a little bit more, I think I'll just, oh man, I suppose if I have a little bit more, I'll just finish it. But I was thinking, oh, if I have a little bit more, I'm just going to start these acorns. But now I'm just like, that's it for that color. I won't, there's no more of this tan, this teddy bear color in the rest of the piece. So might as well just finish it up, be done. And then I'll do the, the um, little acorns next. So that'll be fun. Man, tomorrow's only Wednesday. I'm thinking we're going to be close to done. I think this is going to be done Thursday for sure. Just like at the pace that we're going here, it feels like we might be done faster than like the whole week. Uh, so we'll have to start putting together, checking out what we need for the zipper pouch and maybe we hang out and do something else on Friday uh, so that because the plan was just to kind of start fresh on Monday for the for the zipper pouch. But we'll see. All right. So I barely have any floss. Um, I might like to finish this. Yeah, you know what? I'm I, I there's a little bit of a trick that you can do to extend your floss a little bit on a back stitch, and that's to do a back stitch, then a forward stitch, like what I'm doing now. And then a back stitch, and then a forward stitch, and uh, that kind of gets you a little bit more floss. But I think I'm still gonna need more than that. So I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm just gonna stick to my back stitch, and I'll have like three stitches left to do. Ugh, I'm definitely not winning thread chicken. That's a huge bummer. But oh well. We'll have like four more stitches to do. Well, I won't have to get a long piece of thread though. That's good. Ugh, yeah, you know what? I think this is gonna be my last stitch. Boo! All right, so I'm gonna weave that in and then I'll get another piece of thread just to go like the four or five more stitches there. Then we'll start up the little acorns next. One, two, three. All right, looking good. Let's get a tiny bit more floss. I probably don't need much more than that those couple extra stitches. Actually, when it's this short, I might be able to do where I just hold both sides. But man, whenever I, whenever I go back to splitting floss this way, where I have three strands on one side and three on the other, it always ends up tangling. But this is pretty short, so... Ugh. Oh my God, I haven't done that in a long time. That always scares me. I'm afraid of it all tangling up. Oh, what does my mom think of my online presence? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she watches. So, and then she, and she does the projects with, so I think she probably likes it. Um, okay, I'm gonna weave in the end there. All right, one. Two. Three. All right, let's do our last few little stitches here. The kind of fun thing about this design is you could actually really kind of hang it whatever direction you want. There's no like real direction that it has to be. All 
I think it was like five more stitches here. Three. All right. I always have to count this out loud. So I go back and forth three times. The third time is kind of what locks it in place. And I always have to count it out loud to make sure I get them all. All right, snip. Done with the teddy bear color. That is that. So we're actually done with three colors already on this embroidery. Um, it's kind of more than like one more color than I usually put in uh, the kits. But all right, so next up, we have just these three colors left here. Uh, this is for the leaf, the last leaf, all this um, fawn color, that's for these like sparkles on the outside, and then our um, our acorns are actually walnuts, the, the walnut color uh, for the acorns, so let's do that next. Uh, and then there's some like of the fawn color in, in the acorns too, to just like be like a highlight, some of the color filling. Oops my finger there. All right, let's grab an end here. Where are the ends? There we go. All right, I'm going to get my eh, 18 to 24 inches. Sometimes I'm greedy and do a little bit more than that, but I don't want a ton of floss. Oh man, mom's scissors is not working all that great. All right, let's separate the three strands this way again. One, I think this will be a little bit easier than trying to pull the, the two sets of three strands. Two. Less chance for it to get all tangled. Three. There we are. All right, grab these three threads. Okay, oak let's snip this in. This is a little fuzzy. They're not quite all lined up, so I'm just gonna snip it. And uh, let's get going. I have to kind of map out what I want to do here. Okay, so I don't know. Let's just, I guess, start on this outside one here, uh, and then we'll jump over to this guy. So almost uh, there's a couple like three little lines in here that's the fawn color but the rest is the walnut um, this color that I have now all right so we can do that go in the backs of these stitches do this one and then crawl up and do this one and I guess that's it that's that won't take long so this is still all the back stitch nice and simple wait what side okay right here so I'm just gonna weave in the ends of some of these floss bits So I guess we'll just start here. I think it's fun. So this brown is just a hair darker than the brown in the stems. So it's just gonna make these acorns pop a little bit, I think. We have a cute little oak tree outside our house. It hasn't started really turning colors yet though. And it actually doesn't turn all these really nice, bright, fun ones. It's more kind of like a brown um, oak. So the leaves kind of get like this dark, dark kind of like reddish brown. Uh, but there's some maple trees by my parents' house that are like this bright, bright red. They're so pretty right now they're just perfect but yeah the oak tree that that kind of comes a little bit later by us so 
not full color on those yet. Oh, and in our in our um, in my newsletter that went out today, uh, I had a picture. There were pictures of um, the oak tree from when we moved in ten years ago and what it is now. It was just like this little baby tree, uh, and now it's it's getting hefty. It's it's a legitimate big tree now. But it's just crazy. Can't believe we've been there that long at that house. Um, but just to see, I, I, for the newsletter, I looked up, I knew I had a photo of, of that, of the, um, oak tree and just looked it up and took a new photo of what it looks like now. And I was like, dang, I cannot believe that's how much it grew. All right. I have to get a bunch of these little lines in here. I'm going to do that now. How many? All of these bottom ones. Okay. So we're sort of kind of suggesting that we're filling in this acorn. You really could actually thread paint this whole thing and it'd be really pretty to like thread paint these acorns to make them all like smooth and um, just really pretty. So these are almost like color suggestions of where you could um, thread paint these colors. It would kind of work for that as well. We did the thread painting for the one um, your peach embroidery. That'd be fun to do. Try some of that again. Actually, we might need more of this brown thread than I thought. There's kind of a lot of surface area to, to these. We gotta go all the way around and get all the little shading and everything is kind of quite a bit, isn't there? All right, so I'm gonna go around the acorn part first and then I'll come back to the cap. I'm thinking I could have figured mapped this out a little bit better than what I did so I don't have to jump around but oh well it's perfectly fine It's definitely coming together. Man, I feel like it's it's getting there just by having this one acorn in, in here. It's kind of fun. All right, two more little baby stitches and we'll be done. stitch here. All right, I'm just going to jump right across and get started with this guy over here. I don't know if I'll have enough floss to finish, um, finish this one, but we'll get, we'll get somewhere with it. just nice and relaxing to hang out and stitch for a little. All right, so there are two, um, yeah, two of these little lines that get the dark brown, but I think I'm gonna do one more stitch, then I'll get those. I think this is the better way to map it out. So get a little bit like halfway through the cap then jump back to the little shading 
then do the line on the acorn and finish up with the cap. Yep, I think I'm definitely going to run out of floss. I'm excited for this one to be a zipper pouch. I'll have to find... Um, so I'll use another piece of this muslin, I think, for the back. And uh, um, then the inside, I'll have to find... Go through my fabric and find like some really kind of, I don't know, like this bright orange or some sort of cute something or another. Oh, I have all that bird fabric. The bird fabric might work great for, for this, we'll see. Ooh, I think I might actually get this whole acorn done, yay! That's a thread chicken win. And then I'll start a new, just I'll just to like, cause I won't have a ton left. I'll just start a whole new thing of floss for that last, last acorn. Yay, but then the acorns, at least the outlines will be done. And most of the inside, most of those little shapes, those little lines. Oh man, you guys, I started watching um, Ted Lasso uh, at my parents' house here too, where I'm only like three episodes in, but it's so sweet so far. So don't tell me anything that happens yet. Uh, we don't have Apple, Apple TV at our house, so um, we're getting a little bit of it here and it's just so cute so far. Then I'll be on the TV hunt again. I guess I'm still watching through Seinfeld and stuff too. But that's, that's just kind of good background stuff. All right, I'm gonna weave in the end right there and then we'll do this last little acorn. I know Squid Game's super popular right now, but ugh, that just seems intense. I don't know if I can deal with an intense show right now. That one actually we, we get, like I have access to that one, which is nice. Alright, ready to stitch this little cap. Amy says, I ordered a bunch of your zippers. They're so cute. I hope you'll keep them in stock. I think I will. I, I'll, um, I haven't ordered, I haven't reordered them yet, um, but maybe I will. They are really cute. Uh, I was looking at some of the more just colorful scissor or um, zippers the other day, and I'm like, dang, these are way cuter. It has uh, just the two colors in the zipper and that nice round zipper pull I just think is so cute and fun too. But yeah, would you guys be interested in different sizes of a zipper? I've been just kind of hanging out with that like nine to 10 inch. Oh, Gretchen ordered a bunch too. Yay! Um, oh, they're just such good color combinations. But yeah, I could order some different sizes. They would all be kind of the same colors still. Um, but it might be fun to have like maybe some larger sizes too. You can always cut them down. Um, so I could just get some long ones. Well, I don't know, we'll see. And then, um, I don't know, I always like doing those those nine to 10 inch ones, they're great. Oh good, since I got mine already, they're great quality. Oh good, good.
yeah, I like mine. I've made a couple zipper pouches out of them already and it worked just like, um, you know, the zippers that we've used in the past. Uh, it's no more difficult or anything to use. So they're, they're um, working great so far. And they just are so freaking adorable. Amy says, I love the large ring for gripping. Yeah, that was a fun, a fun find, I think. I, I on purpose was kind of like looking for some with some nice zipper pulls. I was nervous that that would get in the way um, when we sew them on. Like when you sew the zipper onto the, onto the fabric, I thought, oh man, is it gonna be hard to push those big zipper pulls out of the way? It was not at all. It was 100% easy to, to just scooch it out of the way while you sew. So that, that made me happy because I was nervous about that. It was easy peasy. So yeah, so we'll do that next week. Um, turning, well, you can, you make whatever zipper pouch you want, but I'll be making this finished embroidery into, into the zipper pouch. Oh, we're almost done with this guy. Okay, and these, oh, just one over here is this dark brown. We'll just have two colors left when we're done with this. We'll just have all the, the tan that goes around the outside, the fawn color, and then um, the, and there's a couple little specks of that in here. And then we have the uh, goldenrod color that is this last leaf. We've kind of been like hanging out without a leaf done here. So we'll have to get that going soon. Maybe we'll do that now. I think we might be able to get through at least one bit of floss, one strand of floss for the, for that second leaf. Or the third leaf, I guess. Forgot about the little green one. Gosh, it really looks like we made progress. Like this whole little segment feels really close to done. So that's nice. Oh, I'm not, I'm not stitching into the last stitch very well. I got a little, a few little gaps there, but that's okay. All right, that's that for the um, walnut brown color. Let's weave in the ends. And actually, I am, well, I don't know, we got 20 minutes left. I was thinking, yeah, maybe we'll stop it there, but. We got some time yet. It's a little early yet. Um, all right, so yeah, I think we'll do the leaf next, only because, I don't know, I feel like going around doing the sparkles last kind of feels, kind of feels right, the little, little extra little sparkles around here. Um, all right, so let's get our goldenrod color here. I'm gonna get my uh, 24 inches, or well, <laughs> um, Went from 18 inches to 24 inches, so whatever, I guess. Let's, my 18 to 24 is about the length I cut. Um, all right, so let's pull out the three strands and we'll start the chain stitch on that leaf, that last little leaf here. All right, there we go. Boop. Boop. All 
All right, definitely need to snip the ends of these just to even them up. There we go. I think I think I'll start here get this little bit and then we'll jump to this section here that that seems okay so again weaving in the ends getting busy down here <laughs> Gotta say it out loud every time. Okay, our last leaf here. And I think I might do that sewing method. So I'm gonna make my fabric a little more loose in the hoop. We'll start right about there. Blimp. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna do the stabbing method. Never mind. Change my mind. Just gonna try and get my hands comfortable here. Ooh, this got kind of stretched out, kind of funny. Okay, two more stitches right here. Ugh, these big chain stitches are so cute. Alright, and the little anchor stitch right on the other side of that loop to hold it down, and there we are. Okay, starting up this side. Ooh, I think I went through, yeah, sometimes I accidentally stab my needle through uh, the thread and then I can get a knot and I think I just narrowly avoided that. around. So we did go over a bunch of different ways to do the chain stitch yesterday so now I'm just kind of picking one although I feel like I'm being really floppy with it. It's pretty though. Do you like a good chain stitch? So I think I'll go till I finish this bit of floss tonight and we'll call it a real good night. I feel like we got a ton of progress made on, on this design uh, tonight. I was not expecting to get going on a whole nother, whole nother leaf. All right, so when we get to this point in here, I'll do an anchor stitch and then we'll, um, just because that's a really sharp change of direction, uh, and we'll want to hold down our loops so they don't kind of poof up. So we'll tack that down and then go in the other direction. All right. 
two more. These are kind of two big ones, but that's okay. All right, and then here's where I'm gonna tack that down and then we'll switch directions here. So I'm gonna come up in that loop, our final loop here. There we go. And we're just gonna start fresh, but that anchor stitch is holding down the previous loop and you can't hardly see it, which is great. And we'll get a few more stitches out of this, this Lost chain stitch takes up so many, so much thread. But it's worth it, it's pretty. I think we'll probably need more than one thing of floss to get around the rest of this too. So we'll have to, have to cut, cut a couple more bits of this goldenrod color. All right, so about, yeah, I could probably get maybe three, three more of these little chains here. And then we'll be done. But yeah, I actually think we'll get pretty far on this tomorrow. We might get done like a couple days early. Dang, that'd be something. We'll have to do something fun for Thursday and Friday <laughs> if we get, get done with this. And then we'll pick it up again on Monday to do the zipper pouch. I just want to make sure that everyone gets their zippers on time and, and all that um, before we start on that. Oh, can I get one more? I think one more. Just barely. Actually, I can, think I can get it if I do the sewing method. There, in and out. There we go. All right, now I'm going to do that anchor stitch just to hold this down. There we go. And that's where I'll start up tomorrow. I'll just start in the middle of that loop and then go around. So, okay, let's weave in the end and I think we'll call it a night here. And I'm really happy with the progress we made tonight. I must have been speed stitching or something. There we go. Okay, so there's what it looks like um, after tonight. So this is two days of stitching, so basically two hours. And I think it looks really nice. I love those chain stitches. I think they're really sweet. And we almost have those acorns done. We just have a little bit of that fawn color that will go into um, there. And then also all those little sparkles around around it is the fawn color. And then here's the, um, the finished, the, the sample one. That's where we'll be putting all that extra little fawn color. But awesome, you guys. So that is that. I think we made uh, awesome progress on that again. And tomorrow I will be back, um, my normal thing at uh, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, I'll be on YouTube, TikTok, and back on Facebook. So we haven't been on Facebook these past couple days just because I'm on location. But I'll be back, back in the normal room, normal everything uh, tomorrow. So all right, you guys. Thank you again for joining me. Uh, be sure to check out Penguin and Fish if you are interested in this pattern or the link. And um, I will see you guys again tomorrow. Have a great evening. Good night.